Today we're going to be using Sharp Tools and Tasker to set up voice control with your Android device and SmartThings. So to start with, uh, I've got the tutorial up here. I'm going to scroll down and copy the uh, command filter here. So I'll go ahead and just long press and then drag the little handles so that I get both sides and we'll copy that. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Tasker. And when Tasker opens, what we'll want to do is in the bottom right, we'll hit the plus icon to add a new profile. We'll hit event, which will uh, use an event plugin is what we're going to do. So we'll hit plugin and then we'll come up to auto voice and tap that. And what we're looking for is we're looking for auto voice recognized. So we'll scroll down a tiny bit and here it is recognized. So once this comes up, we need to configure the event. So let's click the pencil icon in the top right. And we have a couple of different options here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, set up a command filter. So we'll select the command filter, long press, and paste in what we had copied earlier. That is turn the device on or off. And there's a bunch of different things here. I'm not going to explain them all, but this is using regular expressions to basically let you say something like, turn the bedroom light on, turn the bedroom light off, and the system will capture what device name you say, so bedroom light, and will capture the command you say, on or off, and then send that over to Sharp Tools, which will ultimately pass it into Smart Things to turn your bedroom light on or off. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And we need to make sure that we have the Use Regex box checked here. So I'll make sure I've checked that. And then at the top of the screen, you can go ahead and click the check mark. So we just want to double check that everything's set up the way we expect it to, which is really just this top line that says command, and the command is set up like we want, and we have uh, it set for regex as well. So now that that's set up, we can go ahead and click the back button. And once we hit the back button, it'll ask us to add a new task. So we'll add a new task, and you can optionally give this a name, uh, but in this case, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna skip through it. And so what we'll need to do now is add an action to occur in this task. So at the bottom of the screen, we have a plus icon, which we can click. And again, we're going to use a plugin. This time we're going to use Sharp Tools. Again, the concept is taking data from Auto Voice and passing it into Sharp Tools, which will ultimately control your smart things. So select Sharp Tools and a thing. And again, we have to configure this. So we're going to hit the pencil icon in the top right. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the tasker variables that we set up earlier, which were device and command. And you can reference back to the, uh, to the examples if you need to to see those. But I'll just show you how to do that. In the top right, there's this tag icon, which we'll click. And here it says we can now uh, enter a tasker variable or device name. And same thing for the command. So we're going to use the tasker variable, which we set up earlier for the device name which was simply device, and that's percent, starts off to indicate that it's a, a tasker variable. Same thing with the command, start with a percent, and use command, which is what we named the variable earlier. And hit apply. I'm going to go ahead and start the trial. And now we're all set up. Uh, the thing is, as we see in the configuration here, is uh, going to control percent device, and the command is going to be percent command. So now we can click back to make sure everything's set up properly and back one more time, and now we're at the overview screen. So everything is set up the way we expect it to. At this point, all we have to do is press back one more time to exit Tasker, and everything is set up. Okay, Google, turn the office lamp off. Okay, Google, turn the office lamp on.